Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over the top 5 for the Matt Asplund 1 year anniversary game jam. So the voting ended yesterday and that's when the winner was announced and as promised I'm going to be making a video of the top 5 including the winner and the 4 runners up. So all of the games that I played were absolutely amazing i.e. all of the ones submitted, they are all great, all had their own unique different parts to them. I loved every single one of them and obviously I've gone through all of them on a stream, if you want to go and watch that you can do and the link will be in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get right into the top 5, starting with this one. And so this is the winner, it is Monkey Party by Paulo Steps. Sorry if I've watched your name there again, but this is the winner first place for the game jam this year. Yeah, and here are the credits for everyone who took part in making this game and the different voice actors in here as well. And again this is a great game who took first place. So without further ado, let's get in and play it. And again, you can see we have the credits here and we have a simple options menu here as well with some key bindings up here too. So let's hit play and you can see we have two levels, birthday and Christmas, and we need to unlock Christmas first as well. So let's get in and play the birthday map. You see we have a nice little quest system with some nice ambience in the background, a nice little background audio to really just give us the feel of being in a party environment. And the quest is to talk to Kay. So let's go over Press E to talk. So, since let's play Simon Says. Why should I play this? Just because. But why should I play this? Because I want it, and that's it. <laughs> okay. So we've got some nice dialogue there, and the quest is now updated. So let's talk again to actually start this okay, mission. Okay, Master. What's the first order? Well. First, go to the dangerous slide and carefully go down it while dodging variable monsters. Okay, now I'm going. So as you heard, we've got to go down the slide. It didn't say Simon says, but we need to do it anyway. Let's go down the slide, we'll climb up this ladder, and press E to go down the slide. With this nice little cinematic with the audio as well. And again, if you want my first reaction to all these games, then you can go watch the live stream where I played all these for the first time and have my first reaction to them. So now we need to go back and tell Kay that we made it. So let's go back over here. I'm going to run there as well. Well, I made it. And now, Master. Whoa, already? So quickly. Well, now you have to get two sweets for me. And why don't you go? Master here! Okay, we've got a nice dialogue <laughs> okay. system. So let's go collect two sweets for him. First, over here, we've got this nice little table, different snacks, a nice cake there as well. So let's collect two sweets here. Let's go over and give them to him. Here. Whoa. Well, now that Simon says was been finished. Bye. There we go, we've won. So now we can go back to the menu, hit play. And now we've also unlocked the Christmas map. So we've finished the first level, and now we've unlocked Christmas. So let's go play that. You can sort of see we have two different languages here as well. But let's go in and play Christmas. So I haven't actually played this map yet, I don't think. Oh no, actually, sorry, I have played this map, my mad. As you can see, the quest, we don't know what it is. And obviously I know what to do because I've played this before. We need to move these boxes out of the way to unveil a note left behind here. So let's do that now. I need to move it a little bit more. And there we go. Read the notes. Ho ho ho, you're here. Well, I think you're confused. Well, I can give you the answers if you want, of course. But well, anyway, look back. Santa Claus. Another door's there. As if by magic. Press E to go through. We're in this new Christmassy level here. Have to I have to get out of here. And again, of course, I've already played this, so I know exactly where to go. And I believe it was over here, if I remember correctly. It is indeed. Here's a little hatch to get out of here. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah, we have to fight off these elves. So, again, this part, I'm not sure if there is an actual ending to this part, although I just broke last time. But I've now got all the elves, and here's Santa as well, which we need to fight off. 
And again, I love the lighting in this part because the Santa really just, just pop out of nowhere. It really adds to the horror element of it. So the lighting is done very well in this area as well. And again, overall, I love the lighting, the story, the nice dialogue system. The audio in the other areas are great as well. Obviously, there isn't any in this part, but everywhere else it was perfect. And again, this one first place, and you can tell why. And again, once I've killed Santa, I'm not sure if there is anything to do, because I might have got him. Oh no, there he is. But last time when I did it, nothing really happened. I'm not too sure. But again, obviously this was made in two weeks, so there's bound to be bugs here and there. But really, other than that, I can't find any. It is a great game. Also, I can't climb this ladder, because I believe that's just where I came in from when exiting the other area. It was a nice little boss fight to end off this game, with both of the two levels that we've played. So there we are, I think I've just killed him. Yep, I have. So now we've won the game, I believe, which is perfect. So again, this was Monkey's Party by Paulo Steph and everybody else in these credits here. Great game, took first place, and you obviously got your prize as well. Thank you so much for participating in the game jam, and it was absolutely amazing. Really well done for this great piece of work. And next up, we've got Adrian Was Left Behind by James. Again, this is an absolutely amazing game. Great audio, great art style, graphics, nice little story to go with it as well. So without further ado, let's hit play. So as you can see, we've got this nice music in the background here. You can move around here. Got a nice guide saying wake up. Again, I love this one because there's loads of little nice puzzles everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I have to climb up here first. But as you can see, I can't reach up there. So I do have a double jump, but I can't quite get there. So I'm going to move this box over and then climb up. Again, full of great puzzles really makes you use your brain to think about different things. So we can climb up here and then wall climb all the way up here down to press this button. So again, it's just loads of nice different puzzles like this. Absolutely amazing game. I'm going to go back down here, push the box over, or just climb over like so. You escaped. Easy as that. They imprisoned you for so long. So now let's just keep going forwards. Again, using this nice little wall climb that we have here. Good thinking. So again, you see there's a box up there, which we need to use to get up here. So let's again move this. So I love the fact that we can just interact with the environment and push the different boxes around to be able to reach other places, otherwise you won't be able to get there. So I've done that, and climb up here. Try not to touch the saw blades. So as you see, we have another puzzle of getting through these saw blades. So as you can see, it's harder than it looks. And there's a nice little animation as well for when the cube dies. So let me show you that again, it just breaks into different pieces and it looks great. And we have a, a nice little checkpoint system here, and the music's just restarted as well, it's a nice little loop. So let's try and get through here. There we go. And then this part here is a lot harder than it seems. Yeah, we're going to jump, we're gonna have to dodge our way through these saw blades down here. But as you can see as well, if we're on the wall and we hold down either A or D into the wall, it, has, it slows us down, so we're now slowly falling down the wall instead of just falling like so. And great little mechanic just, just to make you really use your mind to do this puzzle a little bit easier. So I'm going to slide down, jump over, slide down, and then jump over, slide down, and I think there's one more jump over, here we go, or just fall down like so. Trying to fall into this pit of spikes. Let me jump over, there we go. That would be painful, which it sure would. As you can see, we now have these spikes down here as well. So now we can climb up this wall, and now we have a new obstacle of avoiding spikes clip up here like this. As you see the double jump resets itself after you hit a wall or a floor or something along those lines. So let's climb up here and hit the button like so, which is now spawned in this platform moving over. We can go through this gap in between the spikes. Once again we need to get this block so we can climb over to there. But as you see it's blocked by this door. So hit the button again. That's what I mean, there's just loads of different puzzles. So we climb all the way over push the box over, and now we can get up here, make sure to avoid that spike there. Climbing all the way up here. What? What is this place? Something strange is happening. You need to find a way out. You need to find a way down that hole. The glass looks too thick for you to break it on your own. So again, now we need to get that box. So now we've got this button here, but it's not white, it's orange. It's a jump pad. Again, he's used great different colours to just symbolise what each thing means. So it's just a simple block, but you know exactly what it is by looking at it. And that has now broken that. Now what we can do is push around here and get that box. And I like that he's done that 
just in case the cube gets stuck in the corner, you can still push it out. Absolutely great. Let's push it all the way over here now. Now we can climb up here and continue on with the game. We have celebration services. We have the device set up now. It should be working on the first test subject. We locked him in a cell. He shouldn't be able to escape. There's two little guards here, celebration services. I believe this is the escape and the way out. What was that about? My name is Adrian. I was kidnapped from the celebration just like you. Only you were the one to escape. I am trapped in a cell just like you were, but the door is unreachable. I am still in the cell, but you have come so far. I think that the device worked in the wrong way, which causes us to work with each other telepathically, not for the company. You were lucky that the device didn't work on you. Goodbye. Thanks for playing, Major Mansman. He's helped me so much with games. It's always a pleasure. It's an absolutely great game as well. I absolutely loved it. So again, I absolutely loved that. We had great art, great music, great audio all around. The nice story taking us through really made me use my brain and actually think about what I'm doing to solve all the different puzzles. I loved it. And I believe as well it was very close to first place between Adrian Was Left Behind by James and Monkey Party by Paulo. Both of them were amazing. And in third place, we've got Happy Death Day by Rex Gaming. So let's hit play, get right into it. Here we have all the different controls which we have available to use in the game. Your time has finally arrived. I am Lucas, your inner demon. You are now trapped in my realm. Just some more time and you will be dead. So as you heard there, we're dead and we need to escape this house. And we can use 1, 2, 3 and 4 to change the graphic settings on the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this crowbar and then escape. I'm also going to read this note as well. Let's try and escape now. Use the left mouse button to remove the planks. Perfect. Now we can also open this door and keep on escaping. As you see there's now a sword stuck in the wall. And I'm going to search through these drawers by pressing E. And this is something I missed in the first playthrough. I was looking for quite a while for this key. So I missed it there. So now we have a green key for a green door, which we'll find later on. Let's just keep going through the house, looking around. If you have another note over here, let's go and read that. Get out. That's the plan. And that vase, which is on the table, is now just smashed as well. So let's keep going downstairs, trying to escape the house. As you see, there's the green door for the green key we just found. Use the left mouse button to choose an item to use. I want to use that green key. And now we're in here. Perfect like so. And here's a yellow key. There's also a safe down here which we need to find a combination for. Let's also look through the drawers here. Don't think there was anything else in here. I can't fully remember. No, there's not. So we've got the yellow key already. So now we can go to the yellow door. Let's go find that. I believe it was downstairs. It was indeed. Here it is. Use the yellow key. We can now get in here. Again, search through these drawers, and I've got a blue key. We've got to go around the house, searching through different areas, finding keys, working our way up through the different rooms to finally escape. And as you saw earlier, find the combination for the key. So I've just got a blue key, and go to the blue door over here. And that door just opened as I walked over here. Let's check out this room first. There's the red key there, first time. I don't believe there's anything else in this room. I'll have a quick look anyway. And let's keep going onwards. So let's see what was in this room that just opened over here. As you see, there's a big hand in this bin here, and nothing else really in here. So let's go open this red door with this red key. And there we have the final pin. Now we have the final pin. Obviously the, another jump scare. 7124. I believe that's actually randomized. So I think that was different last time I played through it. 
if they're just randomized, that's a great little mechanic as well. 7124. 7124. Enter. Access granted. And we can collect this final item here. Which again is a little bit tricky. There we go. I can use this for the main door. Let's go test out that theory. Let's go down the stairs. Lockpick. Here we go. Are you sure you want to use the lockpick? Yes. And we've escaped. What's happening? Looks like it was all just a dream. That was one hell of an experience. It felt so real. I just hope that it wasn't real. Anyways, I'm gonna have the best birthday today. Or was it? Happy death day. So well done Rex on another great game. Taking third place there. I really love the audio that you had in that. And again, the different mechanics of having to search through all the different drawers. Find the keypad at the end to unlock the safe to pick the lock in the final door and the nice little story that you kind of got through there as well and all the different jump scares. Obviously they were quite loud which we experienced in the stream, however you know the audio itself was great like what they sounded like, just a few tweaks here and there, obviously again two week game jam there's going to be some stuff which you're going to want to tweak. So it's absolutely great especially for a two week game. And now we've got Solcist by Xenon or Xenon. And again, we have two different levels in this. We've got summer and we've got winter, i.e. the summer and winter solstice. So I played summer on stream, I'm gonna play winter here. So if you wanna see the summer map, go watch that part of the stream. Again here, I'm gonna play winter as I haven't played it yet. So let's go in and play that now. So we're in the level. Again, as I said before on the stream, I love the graphic style that we've got going on here. And again, I haven't played this map. Oh yeah, we need to follow him. Okay, so we're the one doing the following, I guess. Or is that an enemy? Or are they following us? <laughs> I'm confused now. I think they might be following us. So let's go along this little trail here. I think they're following us down the path. I can see different things in the woods. Well, I don't know if that's the path that we're going on. I love the audio of the person following us. That sounds great in the background. Yeah, I think that was a path. This path looks quite nice as well. Clearly shows where we need to go. Style of it looks great. We've also got a nice footstep audio as well, going through different forests and going through the leaves. You can hear audio there, something growling. You can see through the leaves, fire. That's what's making the noise. The two kind of head statues. On the path's gone. I wasn't looking at that. The path's just sunk. Crossing the bridge into this small little town. With the fire here. And we lit this fire in the last level. I don't know if it's the same fire or not. We left after. I guess we just keep following the path. I like the look of this town. Looks nice and cozy. Little small village. Let's keep going through. The fire as well sounds great, just burning in the background. Over here, a nice barn. Another fire outside. Let's go in. And the person that's following us is now sat down. The night's not over yet. Go see your family before the morning came and thank you again. Uh, so I guess we have to get home quickly then. We should go run. I imagine something's going to happen on the way back. Yeah, we don't have that music anymore. Oh, the path's changed this time. We're going this way. I like that fire as well. Let's just keep going down here. Some nice music. Oh, this is from our house. So there's a bit of overlapping text there. Papa, you see your wife and your child, you enjoy the meals and talk to your family before the first ray of sun, and finally you leave until next solstice. And I think that's the end of the game. Well, our child's now following us, oh, and our wife. I'm stuck now. <laughs> okay, I'm stuck. Yeah, I think that's it. That was great. So yeah, I played the summer map on stream, I played the winter map now as well. 
I loved it. As I said on stream, the graphics on this are amazing. The audio as well is perfect. Nice little story to go with it as well. On the summer map, there was more of a kind of fear that set the atmosphere really well on that in the woods. You had to escape from the ghosts, trying to avoid them. And then at the final end, I had to make a final sprint for it to the fire to win the map. And it was amazing. And this one was kind of just taking you through the scenery of the forest. Different audio, following someone, someone following you, sorry. Perfect again. This took fourth place. And in fifth place, we've got The Party Needs Something by Honorable Ensign. Let's go on the credits here. You want to see who made it. Who helped make different models and all this great stuff here so this is the credits for the game in fifth place of party need something so let's go back and let's hit start dude we will make a party it is amanda's birthday can you bring something okay i will get some confetti go to the door so we need to go get some confetti now let's go to the door and let's get out and we need to go to the market so let's run down this road and go down to the market all the way to the very end over here now I like the character on this, a lot of different animations running over, it's great. And the different houses as well, and the nice little simple street that we have here. So let's go over into the market and buy some confetti for Amanda's birthday party. Hint, if you want to buy an item, look at it and press Q. Press Q, and we just bought this box here. Have a nice so that's perfect. Day. Which house should I go? And we're over here, and again, we found out that we're in a magic town because the market actually teleports us when we buy something. Again, here we go. So we need to find out which is Amanda's house. Now I'll show you what happens if you go in the wrong house, because again, I found out what it, which one is on stream. We go in here. You came the wrong house. We've gone to the wrong house. We get kicked out. Have we need to find idea. the actual house. Which house should I go? I think on stream I took a random guess and actually got it correct. And if I remember correctly, it was this one here. So let's go deliver this confetti for Amanda's birthday. Oh, sorry. Here we go. I forgot to buy the cake. Can you buy it, please? Um, okay. I can also buy it, no problem. And we also need to get a cake now. So let's go to the bakery. And here the bakery is. So let's mark it. Here's the bakery. Let's go buy a cake. Buy the cake from the shop. Happy birthday. Seems like a good one. Let's go. Have a nice day. So now we're here delivering the cake and the confetti to Amanda's party. Oh, here Put the, the cake. cake. Happy birthday, Amanda. The end. Great little simple game. Point A to point B, collect different items and deliver them to make Amanda's birthday party as good as it can be. So we had to get the confetti, we did that, and then we had to get the cake as well, and we did that. Nice, simple, great game. Nice basic storyline, some nice graphics, the animations and the model character were great as well. Some nice audio dialogue in there too. Perfect, taking fifth place. And again, I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone taking part. And also a massive well done and congratulations as well, as all of the games submitted were amazing, all perfect, I loved and enjoyed playing all of them. And again, if you want to see me go through all of them and go through my first reactions of them in more detail as well, you can go watch the stream, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. I had a blast, great fun, I think it's around 2 hours length, and I'll be leaving timestamps as well on that video for the different games if you want to watch them. So again, thank you so much for participating, I hope you all had fun and I hope you all learned something. It was great to do, it was great to host, and we'll definitely be doing more of these in the future. Well done again for the top 5, which was first place was Monkey Party by Paulo Steffs, second place was Adrian Was Left Behind by James, third place was Happy Death Day by Rex Gaming, fourth place was Solstice by Xenon or Xenon, and fifth place was Party Need Something by Unreal Ensign. So again, congratulations and well done, hope you enjoy your prizes, and thanks so much for participating. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had fun on the Game Jam, whether you either participated, won, took top 5, or just played everyone's games and voted for them, or you just watched me play them. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. So again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!